Hello friend, today we will learn how to make line graph by using R programming. First of all, we need to know what is line graph. So line graph, it connects a series of points by drawing line segment between them. So these points are ordered in one of their coordinates, usually the x coordinate value. Line diagram are usually used to identify the trend of the data. In our previous video, we have learned how to use the scatter plot. So in that video, we have uh, used uh, plot function. So, uh, similarly, to make the line diagram, we will also use the plot function. But here the basic syntax or the parameter required for this line diagram is different. So let's see what is the syntax uh, of plot function to create a line diagram in R. So this is uh, the function we are going to use to make a line diagram. So this is plot function. So here the first parameter will be your data then we need to mention what is the type of the line diagram after that we can write the main parameter so that is basically used for giving the title of your figure next we need to write what is the label of your x-axis that is x level then what is the label of your y-axis so for that we need to use the parameter y lab. So we can uh, give the color of each point uh, of this line diagram. So for that we can use the call that is for color this parameter and we can also define or we can also use another parameter that is y limit. So this is the parameter we can uh, use to draw a line diagram by using R programming. So let's try with example. Let's say data. So this is my input data. So input data is equal to. So I am going to store n number of values to draw the line diagram. Let's say my first element is 8, 17, 18, 22, 25, 26, 27, 25, 29, 28, 27, 35, 34. So this is my input data and I am interested to draw line diagram by using this data set. So in this case, so this, it will be replaced by data. So for our first example, we are using type is equal to P. So in main parameter, so let's give a title of this figure as line graph. Let's say for, uh, let's say the level of X axis is average temperature and y axis is here so it should be in within quotation let's say we are using red color and we are defining the limit of y axis in between 10 to 40. So this is my code to draw the line diagram. So let's execute this code. So you can see this is the line diagram here. Okay, just I need to switch this one title.
let's execute again so in our y axis so this is our average temperature and in our x axis that is uh, that is year it represents year and uh, it starts from 1 to up to 12 and these are my observation points so if we uh, change this type p by l so let's see how, how it will looks so it becomes as a line so there is no point is mentioned in this line so if we change this type by small o so it will be different so here the exact point it will show as well as the line joining each point it will also show and from this figure we can see it is increasing trend so this is for uh, drawing single line suppose if you are interested for uh, multiple line so for this let's create another data series for multiple line let's say my second data is data 2 is equal to as there are more, uh, more than one element uh, that is why I, I am using C function 15 16 17 18 17 19 20 21 23 22 24 25 so this is my data series second data series and I am interested to add another line by using this data point so for that I need to use lines function lines so after using this function I need to mention the data so the data is data2 then I can mention also the type what type of uh, what type of point will show in this figure so let's say it is also O type and what else I can give color so let's say color is equal to blue now execute all this code together So this is my data 2. So you can see there is two line in my uh, line diagram or line graph. You can zoom this figure by clicking here. So now I am interested to save this figure. So for that I need to use PNG function png function and in uh, png function I need to mention file name so let's say file name is line graph dot png and uh, I have not mentioned any path to this uh, file name so this file will be saved in my current working directory folder so let's execute this code so my code is successfully executed now let's go to the document folder so you can see this uh, this file is created so this is my line diagram we can save our script by giving the file name like line underscore line graph dot r so the script of this code it will be saved so this is the procedure to make line diagram in r studio thank you for watching